Hello book fans, it's another book. It is Stephen Fry's Fry's Ties and here is the tie. And this is a book not just for people who are interested in ties but people who like a bit of Stephen Fry and the way he writes. Um, but I would say you probably want to have a little bit of interest in ties because it is all about ties. It's written in the Fry style, of course it is, which is quite amusing at times, but the content is still ties. So some people might not make it past 30 pages, but for me I found it a really thrilling read and a very interesting read on the history of ties because he talks, it is actually about ties, it's not about um, <laughs> It's not about anything, any dive, it doesn't take many diversions from the Thai theme, but it does have a lot of stories related to ties. So part of it is um, we talk about Stephen Fry's kind of personality. So if you're a big fan of Stephen Fry, drop a, a like, of course, and um, give me a comment on Stephen Fry down there and tell me about him a little bit. So Fry's Ties. How does it work out, this book? I mean, I mean, is it really that interesting? Ties as a subject? It's terrible. Surely that is the worst possible topic he could have picked. Well, the first thing is um, that there's some very good ties in this book. So here's one of, here's one of my favourites, if not my favourite. Um, this, is a, this is a Durham Street special from um, Charles Turret, but it's, it's spelled Thai Wit or something. Um, and Fry talks about um, how, how the ties came into being, the foundation of the, um, the developer of said Thai fashion and where they're coming from. And um, here's an extract. So this tie here certainly grabs the eye, doesn't it? Bold and brassily confident. It can cheer a fellow up on a drab morning. That's the spirit, but he's, he's spelled spirit, S-P-Y-R-W-H-I-T-T-C, you see? Like tyrit, if you know tyrit ties, which we all will do by the end of reading this book. And get Googling these ties on eBay, because I'm sure they'll all be snapped up pretty soon, the ones that are out there, um, because of the inspiration that uh, Fry will have provided you by the end, if not right from the very start of this book. Um, now the actual content I suppose is the main blocker I think for people um, who have absolutely zero interest in ties so you might not want to read it for that reason. The way the book starts out though, um, it, it gets you into it, into the theme of things by talking about ties. So it makes no apologies about the, the subject, it is all about ties and we go into a little bit of history here, um, ties and, and the history bit isn't related to Stephen Fry and how he got into ties and how he became a bit of a um, Thai connoisseur and it, it, there's quite a bit right at the start before we get into it. Um, so this bit might be what people find actually difficult um, because maybe you're not interested in the ties, maybe you just want to, in want to read about Stephen Fry's um, relationship with said tie. Um, so he'll, he'll give you an image of the tie and then he will give you a bit of text about why it re what it, how it relates to him, this particular tie, as well as the history behind the, behind the manufacturer of each tie. So every page has a different tie on, uh, tie on it and a different manufacturer. So the, there's not two different manufacturers in, through the whole book. I think you're going to find, if you're a person that's looking to buy a tie but you don't know anything about ties, I think this book will give you a good idea of what kind of tie that you want because it's got the, so many different ties. I mean, maybe all the different ties, possibly. And um, as he, he often says in this, um, you can search for them on eBay and he'll say how likely you are to find the tie on eBay. Um, and I've certainly found a good number of the ties, reasonably priced second-hand ties on the eBay. So you're talking five quid if you're lucky, but more like 10 quid for a decent tie um, second-hand on eBay. But obviously with ties on eBay, I've not, I have actually bought a tie off eBay. I don't know the state of it until it arrives. You just have the pictures to go off, don't you? So ideally, for me, I'd rather be in a, uh, an actual charity shop, a book, uh, you know, to get the tie and be able to see it firsthand. I'll purchase it off a, a, a known professional who is an expert in ties and wants to sell them cheap for some reason. Now this tie I have on at the moment is my only silk tie um, which was bought um, by, by my mum there. Um, that's the reason I own that. But I've used the full Windsor knot. So before I bought this, borrowed this book, so I borrowed it from a library, before I borrowed it I did not know how to do this, which is a full Windsor knot. So you see that? It shows you exactly how to do a full Windsor knot. Basically, the, the Windsor knot is a chubby kind of 
great looking knot that people should be using for weddings for fancy do's because it makes a chubbier knot so for that reason that might be a reason why you want to purchase or, or borrow the book most likely just borrow it from a library have a flick through if you have an interest in ties if you want to if you think you're an expert in ties then get this book and see if you actually are because it's taught me he's got a number of different ways of um, making tying a tie so I, I just thought there was one way being uh, blissfully naive of the world of ties but there are many different ways like there is like the um, the trinity knot which makes a real kind of funny look to it uh, I don't know if I've bookmarked it I think it was page 109 if I'm correct oh probably not 109 no 209 isn't it because that's too far in 201 um, but the trinity tie I don't know if it's anything to do with trinity college um, the trinity knot so there it is so I think you might just be able to see it there um, it's got like a folded look to it so that's an extreme close up like Wayne's World you see how it's got three folds in, in it and it looks amazing I've not yet mastered that one I've not learned how to do it at all so yeah there are lots of tie options and um, you, you obviously you're not going to take a picture of that and then use it as a guide on how to tie it in the future when you fancy a crack after you've returned it to a library for event for example because that would be copyright infringement um, which I haven't done um, but overall is it a recommended read um, I would say for me for me um, it started off as a three out of five experience because I, I did find it was a it was kind of interesting the um, the history the kind of history of ties and how Fry got involved with ties was kind of interesting but not nearly as interesting as um, reading each individual tie manufacturer and the, the colourful ties and how they relate to Stephen Fry how he got hold of the ties that is the interesting bit for me and I, as I wear ties quite a lot I think. Um, I think, I think it's, it's good to know more about ties, so I'm certainly going to use this knowledge that I've gathered. I'm going to tie my tie in many different ways in the future um, because of this book. And I'm also going to, you know, I've already purchased one on eBay, but I'll maybe I'll purchase more on eBay or look for charity shops to find ties from um, this, this book. There's a particular tie, I think it's um, a Jerome Street tie which is you know it, it's a sparkling sparkling designs in the ties so it's given me inspiration for my own tie collection which is mostly drab some of my exciting ties seem to have gone missing for some reason so I'm gonna have to buy some some more um, but there are some good ties on eBay obviously but anyway and um, so I would say uh, after finishing this it's gone up from a three out of five experience to a five four out of five not five four out of five experience so overall I'd say it's a recommended read for me because I, I'm into ties if you're not into ties but you're more into fries as in Stephen Fry's then maybe it's a three out of five or maybe even less than that but I'd recommend if you're not into it super much then just borrow it from a library do not purchase it but if you're hard into ties then just go ahead and get it because you won't be disappointed um, so and, and fashion as well um, but it is mainly Thai fashion so if you don't like that niche of fashion then you might not enjoy it anyway if you find this useful drop a like and subscribe but thank you very much for watching um, give me your comments on ties and what you think about Stephen Fry writing about his ties um, because uh, I'd be quite interested to respond to those but thank you very much for watching